Charles Adler with three minutes that matter. Canada's loudest conservative bullhorn is not a human being. It's a newspaper, the National Post. The bullhorn is warning conservatives nationally not to do what Manitoba progressive conservatives did this week, not to demolish themselves with dumb messaging that makes conservatives ashamed of their party, reluctant to support their party, prompting many to stay home or vote for some other party. The National Post doesn't need my help, but I will offer it anyway with Math 101. Roughly 67% of voters in Manitoba live in the city and suburbs of Winnipeg. Focus on that 67 number because it will tell you everything you need to know about the problem. The progressive conservatives who were governing in my adopted home province for the last seven years managed to get not half of that 67 number, only a third. A third of the voters of Winnipeg voted for the Conservatives, and to add insult to injury, in the legislature out of 32 seats in Winnipeg, the Conservatives wind up with only three. Three. Three out of 32. Just barely better than 10%. Yes, the campaign tilted right. Yes, they concealed their leader from the voters. Yes, they ran terrible ads. Yes, they insulted everyone's intelligence. Yes, they made every mistake in the book. But at the heart of the analysis is this. Canada is a middle-of-the-road country, not a right-wing nutjob country. And if you're communicating with real voters the way conservatives on social media communicate with anonymous trolls and bots and accounts that are faker than Trump's tan, your brand gets tanned. It gets caned. It gets demolished. It happened this week in Manitoba, and the right-wing bullhorn known as the National Post sees fit today to warn the troops, stop peddling stuff that only appeals to the ignorant and the hateful. You may wind up like the Manitoba PCs in a landfill. Despite the Conservative Party's belief that CBC is a public relations agency for Justin Trudeau, once again the public broadcaster is breaking a story that brings nothing but embarrassment to the PM. The family Easter vacay in Montana cost taxpayers a quarter of a million dollars, much more than the number reported by the PMO to Parliament. Baseball, Jays have now gone seven seasons without winning a single playoff game. Wednesday night in the Twin Cities of Minnesota, the Blue Jays got swept from the wild card round. No sane fan is surprised. This fan of Major League Baseball, when I was a kid, Willie Mays, Sandy Koufax, Mickey Mantle, they were still alive. I've been a fan of baseball for over half a century. I'm not a fan at all of faking excitement about making a wild card round because that's something the Jays have been able to do in four of the last five seasons, bowing out each time without winning a single game. The Blue Jays are baseball's version of the Leafs. They tease. They do not satisfy. They do not go all the way. I'm Charles Adler going all the way with three minutes of matter.